it's all started when I was 15. I read a news about a hacker who has stolen a huge amount of money from a bank that fascinated me and from there I started my journey of ethical hacking. And the adventure started when I ethically hacked my Symbian OS-based cell phone. Actually, I had used an application that connects through Bluetooth and can copy all contacts, messages, call records and even can call from a hacked phone. Then my interest increases in computer hacking. Then finally, I decided to become an ethical hacker. To guide me, my so-called engineer buyer came and advised me to take admission in the Bachelor of Technology. I folded my eyes and took admission there. During that period, I learned a lot of things about information technology but I never get a chance to learn ethical hacking. I got frustrated and started doubting myself, am I on right track or not? Then finally, I decided to take consulting on my career development in cyber security. My counselor told me that if I want to become an ethical hacker, you have to start learning first with Windows, then Network, then Linux, and database. And then only you can understand the cyber security to reach your goal. Then I decided to start with Windows and complete it few certifications in Microsoft. I learned Linux, CCNA, database in my 6 month technical diploma and simultaneously I was learning computer and application hacking. Also I was in the pressure of a job because I have already invested a lot of money in my improving my skills and I wanted to get a job as quickly as possible. I went for the interviews in many MNCs and also have successfully cracked all interviews but the job was not in security. And after continuously denying for all job proposals, I had nothing in my head. I was regretting on my decisions because I had denied many offers. I wasn't getting any response from any cyber security company because I was a fresher. Then I decided to remove this tag first and joined a company with an earning of $5 per day and used to get pay only when I will go to the office. After some time, I got an offer from another company but that was also not for security. It was again for different profile as I had various skills in my resume. And still I remember that day when one of my colleagues said most of the people are not doing what they like. So I have to accept this and I need to grow in the same domain which I have in my hand. But I never give up. Many naysayers came in my professional life but I never reacted to them because I had a faith that I will answer all of them with my achievements. As in the alchemist, when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. And I met a guy who helped me to get an opportunity for the interview in cyber security. And that is what I was waiting for. When I entered in a field of cyber security, I never looked back and keep moving forward with my aim to be the best. And then there was a time when I had more than 10 offer letters in cyber security job just a few months in the dream company. I know there are so many people like me who are struggling to get a job in cyber security and lost their track because of some reason. But I am ready to help them if they are ready to. Welcome to my course of SOC Analyst version 2.0. The only course which will give you the skills to work, to understand, to handle the cyber security attacks in the security operation center. You need a helping hand because someone also gave me when I need it.